Let us try Debbie Wasserman Schultz. The same question we tried on Senator McCain. She's from Florida. Can I help you? Yeah, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, please. We didn't seem to get much cooperation from McCain, so maybe a liberal Good morning, Democrat. Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz's office. Wow, that's a long name. You got to pronounce it every day. Mine is easy. Trash, like trash basket, trash can. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we have a little YouTube station which gets about two two plays a day. So, but out of curiosity for my own self, let me ask you a question um, about the Afghanistan war. Okay. Uh, we have troops there for I don't know seven years or something like that. And of course, if you were there and I were there, we'd be marching in the streets and we'd be out of there. But because only ten percent of our population have to have to bear the burden of this, I think it's the unspoken war. But my question is this, everybody knows that the Taliban is financed largely by heroin sales through the, the harvesting of poppies, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in Vietnam, I think I read about, I'm too young of course to remember Vietnam, but I, I read about that they used to use napalm to blow away the jungles there? Uh -huh. Okay. Would you say that it would be easy to spot poppy fields? I mean, they must have to grow millions of, tens of millions of poppies to get enough mm -hmm. heroin to make money, right? I mean, that's what I would imagine. Yes. Okay. So why don't we, with all our drones and our satellites and our radar and guns and ships and planes, how come we just don't napalm the poppy fields? Drop some leaflets the day before and go. Oh, you will meet Allah if you don't if you pick a poppy tomorrow because we are napalming this field and you'll go to heaven and uh, the next day you know mm -hmm. and then they have no money and we bring the troops home and we'd have more money for social security okay does that make sense I mean it does it's a very it's one way of trying to approach this situation well how come we're not doing that it's seven years I couldn't say why not you can't say I couldn't say no, I, I know at least you're answering me most people go they can't say anything you know Mm -hmm. uh, can I ask you one more question since you seem cooperative and I've called uh, a number of people that were not cooperative today? Okay. The Democrats are saying we need entitlement reform and that scares me. Okay. It really scares me. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because number one, I don't understand why you need the money that I'm entitled to. I'm entitled to it. It's not welfare. That's number one. Number two, we are giving billions and billions of dollars to foreign nations every day, correct? Mm -hmm. Why would you take my social security and continue to give billions of dollars to foreign countries? Okay. Uh, I also have another little question regarding that. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it just seems to me that we have troops in Germany, we have troops in Korea, we have troops in Japan. Korea is a very prosperous nation. Are you aware of that? Uh, I was not personally. But. Okay. Very booming economy in Korea. Japan is not so booming, but there is, you know, a major economy, and Germany is booming there. They have uh, the second biggest exporting nation in the world. They're up to full employment. And why are we protecting them? They fought us twice. They showed they could build very vicious armies. Why am I paying to protect Germany? And then, you, and then the Democrats are agreeing that I should get less Social Security and continue to pay for Germany and Korea and Japan when they have a lot of money. And they can protect themselves. They're very capable of it. I don't understand that. Okay. So... Do you have any answer on that one? I mean, I really couldn't say. That's obviously a very complicated issue, but it is. No, I, Seems simple to me. It's it's a very here's, valid. here's what we got to do. Look, we have one of two choices. Barney Frank, of all people, said the Europe ride is over. They're getting nanny days, daddy day, granny days, seven weeks vacation. While well, we pay for their defense, this is very simple. Tell Miss Schultz there, okay? Okay. T we can either tell the Germans. Protect yourselves and bring the troops home, or we could do what I would do with you if I lived in your neighborhood. If you came up to me and you said, Trash, you look like a strong guy, I want you to protect me, I'd say, look, sure, how much are you going to give me every month? We could actually make money on it. I'm not against protecting the Germans. I just want them to pay for it. So in other words, we could go to Germany and say, you got two choices. Protect yourself as you did in World War One and World War Two, or... We'll protect you for six trillion a year, which costs us two trillion, and we'll make four trillion toward my social security and yours. Okay. Is that that's you know we're a business that so would take in a few bucks. You know what I'm saying? I mean, does that sound logical? It does. I mean, it's a one. It's and you could tell her too. I mean, we got to stop helping these corporations with you know this corporate welfare yeah. and taking money from little old ladies. I really you know don't want to take 
some little old lady's food money and you were giving Exxon mobile money? Yeah. That hurts me. I mean, seriously. And then, then, then we have all this, this, this pork barrel spending and you're going to take my social security check? Mm-hmm. Oh, it, it hurts. So, I mean, what are we going to do about all this? I mean, I can't tell you exactly what's going to be done, but obviously it's one of the issues that's going to be becoming more and more prominent, more discussed and debated. In the coming I don't, well, I'll, I don't want to scare you, but I'm the only one discussing uh, either of the two issues I just mentioned to you. I don't hear anyone from the Democrats, the press, the Republicans mentioning one thing I just read you on this list yeah. of, of why we should not touch Social Security. And that's one of the reasons why we always appreciate you know calling in and giving us these ideas and suggestions, because a lot of times there are options that we don't think about. Boy, you're a nice guy like you. And, you know, if you could pass this along to Ms. Schultz there, I would appreciate it. And tell her that I want to turn the discussion, I'm serious, from cutting Social Security to increasing it, making money on our troops, okay, or at least saving money on the troops, stopping corporate welfare, and let people have their little stipend when they retire, okay? So we're helping the country, helping everybody, you know? I mean, it's, it's, it's a good thing, and we can stop flying the space shuttle, by the way, which is finally coming to an end, thank God. And we don't need to go to Mars when we can't pay my Social Security, even though I'd love to go to Mars. Yeah. I'm a man. All men are from Mars, you know. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You go to Mars, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like Rocky. Okay, listen, you're a nice guy. I appreciate the call, you know, and uh, tell Miss Schultz, you know, like, go on the case there or save us the money and... You know, like help the old people. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of old. You know, like Rocky. You know, uh, uh-huh. yeah, could... yeah. No, we, like I said, we definitely appreciate you calling in. And... A loquacious we... guy, a staffer yeah. that's loquacious. You're the first one today. I love you, God. <laughs> What's your name? If I ever call back, I'll ask for you. My name is Thaddeus. 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 How do you, how do you spell that? T H A T D E U S. Okay. Well, something like Roman, in other words. <laughs> Like the Emperor of Rome there. He's your Nadius. Okay. We would call you back Nadius. Maybe we'll get to know you personally, work with you, and, and try to move the country forward here. Because okay. I don't hear any, anyone like moving the country forward anymore. And it kind of scares me. I, I, I like to see that we're making progress here, protecting the Germans and everything, because I, you know, like them, and they're good people and everything. But they're making money, and we're paying for the money. It's not good. I've worked too hard for the money. So you... Nadius, I want you to, I will call you in a few weeks and let me know how we're doing. Okay. Okay? okay thank, thank you. you very much. Yeah. Merci beaucoup. Have a good one. All right. Au revoir. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Hey, Thaddeus, man. Emperor of Rome. <laughs> Love you.